Don't you lie to me, viewers. We all dream of at least once having a 323 million view video like Mr. B Squid Game, but there's three things stopping us. Are we hoping we cross our fingers to pull off a 126 million view video like Mark Rober's Skin a Watermelon? But then there's two things stopping us from doing that. Well, can we at least accomplish a 32 million view video like Ryan Trahan's 100 Days in the Metaverse? Well, there's one huge problem stopping us from doing that, and this video might have the solution for how to go viral on YouTube. Could it be as simple as asking ChatGPT how to go viral on YouTube? Well, I saw a truckload of videos demoing use cases for ChatGPT, but they're all missing this one thing. You must ask ChatGPT the correct questions in the correct way in order to get the correct answers. So today we're going to see how smart AI can be and is it smart enough to become Skynet anytime soon. So I went up and I asked ChatGPT the exact steps for how to make a video go viral and this is what it instructed me to do. So to test the intelligence, we're going to complete all five steps in sequence. If you leave this video before you find out if this works for me, then you'll never find out if ChatGPT can work for you to make your videos go viral. Step one, ChatGPT says to create high quality original content. To attract a large audience, it's important to create content that is engaging, informative, and entertaining. Try to come up with unique and creative ideas that stand out from the crowd. So, for the engaging part, I combine the use of popular memes, popular celebrity movie scenes, etc. as B-roll to hopefully keep a viewer's attention. Next, ChatGPT says to promote your content. Once you've created your video, be sure to share it on social media, forums, and other platforms to get as many views as possible. So you can also consider collaborating with other YouTubers or promoting your content through paid advertisement. But guess what? I'm not going to do the paid ads in this part of the video, but I will reach out for some collaborations and I will let my email list know about this new video to hopefully gain a little bit of traction up front. Then ChatGPT says to engage with your audience. Building a community of loyal followers can help your content go viral. Respond to comments and encourage discussion on your videos to foster a sense of community and keep people coming back for more. But since I already sent out the email to the students to watch the videos, guys, next I'll create a YouTube community post. Maybe a few viewers can trickle in from there. After that, I'll go to the previous 100 comments on my latest videos and respond to them again because YouTube will send them another notification to come back to the channel. This might actually work, guys. So after that, ChatGPT says to use catchy titles and thumbnails. A catchy title and thumbnail can help your video stand out and draw in new viewers. Make sure to include relevant keywords in your title and choose a thumbnail that is eye-catching and representative of your content. Now, even though this seems a bit outdated and obvious, guys, I'm going to obey the artificial intelligence for the sake of this video experiment. So I'm putting the keywords in this title and taking my time with the thumbnail. Let's see if it works in the end. Step five, ChatGPT says to optimize your video for search. To increase the chances of your video being discovered by a wider audience, be sure to use relevant tags and descriptions and include a description or a transcript of your video in the description. Now, so if we did our video keyword research correctly, we should be optimized for search already. Also, I'm currently dropping this script in the description of this video. Surprise! If you haven't figured it out by now, this very video you're watching right now was the viral video experiment. So tell me if it worked in the comments. Ta-da!